Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths. The quickest, fastest and easiest way to learn, remember and know the 7 times table. So let's take a look. Ok so the first thing that you want to do is you want to draw a 3x3 noughts and crosses grid or a tic-tac-toe grid. So we do that as so. And then what we want to do is we want to go right to the top right hand corner and we want to count all the way up to 9 and we work our way downwards column by column. So starting from the top right hand corner we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then to represent 10, we put that right on the outside, on the far right, so we write 0, but we don't write the 10, we don't write the 1, we just put the 0 there. Okay, so as you can see, the numbers are going in ascending order, but written going downwards in each column. So that order is very important. So that's the one thing that we need to remember. Okay, so then what we do is we want to go to the top left hand corner, and we want to write from left to right, but we want to write starting from zero and we want to go up the scale. So for example, we start from the top left hand corner and we write zero and then we go one and two. And then we go to the second row and we carry on going up the scale, but this time we start from two again. So we write two, three, four. And similarly, we go to the bottom row and we start from 4 again this time. So we write 4, 5, and 6. And then finally, with the 0 on the outside, we put a 7 next to it. And if you haven't noticed already, we've got the 7 times table. All you have to do is start reading from the top left hand corner and read as you would a book. So you would read going towards the right. So we've got 1 times 7 is 7, we've got 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 7 is 21, 4 times 7 is 28, 5 times 7 is 35, 6 times 7 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 7 is 56, 9 times 7 is 63, and finally 10 times 7 is 70. And if you write this out a few times, you'll know it in a matter of seconds. And then you'll be able to repeat it and say it mentally, very fluently. Let me know how well you did with this in the comments below. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those. But if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video. And you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit. And do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths, tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.